What's up my friend, welcome back to another Kajabi video. And today we're gonna to take another look at the Kajabi Community 2.0. Um, in the previous Kajabi community video, I took a look at the first impressions of the product, how I kind of set it up from scratch, took you along that journey with me. And so um, I wanted to do more of an updated video and show you what I've done since in the meantime, uh, what I did to kind of set it up. And at the time of this recording, um, the, the community product still hasn't been launched publicly yet because it will officially be going out in January. So I wanna show you what I've been doing in the back end, And then maybe if you wanna take part in this as well with for your own membership and community, then um, I'll, I'll share with you how to do that at the very end as well. So um, in the previous video, I definitely check that out first, by the way, if you haven't yet, I kinda show you how I put this together from scratch. But since that video, I've done a couple of things. The first thing I did was I added more circles. And so just to recap, circles are the discussion topics that you have within this community product. Uh, for example, if you just want them to have a place where they can ask general questions that maybe don't have a specific topic, then they can ask that here. I've just created a couple of them here and it seems they actually kind of show up um, automatically for some of the ones that I, uh, some, some updates I make to this community. So that's kind of a cool feature as well. Um, they can create, uh, cr click create a post. They can write whatever they want. They can attach a photo and a video natively, which is really cool. Um, previously in the Kajabi community, you had to upload the video, let's say externally. So in Google Drive or on YouTube and then link over to it in the community. But here it looks like you can add it natively and then they can post, which is nice. I've created some more here as well, like one for introduce yourself, one for mixing and mastering, one for composing and songwriting. So I've, I've created my own post in each one just to kind of show my members what it kind of looks like and to give them a bit of a prompt, if you will. So we have those circles there. And the way they're kind of ordered, by the way, is dependent on the most recent activity. So if someone comments in the mixing and mastering circle, then this one will naturally then rise to the top. Um, I would love the ability to have that not be a thing, actually. This is something I've reached out to the T Vibely team about is um, having manual control over which ones are at the top because I want the general questions and I also want the introduce yourself circles to be here at the top. So um, I, I don't really want them to be moving around whenever someone posts something new, but that's just something that comes with it, I guess. Um, the next thing I did was I kind of arranged a meetup here just to see what it kind of looks like. So this is, for example, December, 2022. Every month I have a coaching call. So just that for test purposes, I've set up one for the month of December. And uh, I've, I've added a picture as well. I've added the date and the time, December 14th in the middle, middle of the month at 10 a.m. EST. And then a little description here as well. And I'm also using the live room feature, which again, negates the need for Zoom, which is really cool. So if we take a look at that, you can see this in a little bit more detail. And of course you can go in and edit the meetup as well. So this is what it looks like if you wanna edit it. So you can have the title. Again, the location is either the live room within Vibly, or you can use something externally upload a picture and then the date and time descriptions and then which access groups are going to get this so is it going to be paid members is it going to be the free members um, and then which circle is related to this event i just have it in general questions and then i don't have it recurring every so often because i actually want the event only happening once a month but it also has to happen on a wednesday at 10 a.m so this is just something i've decided so i'm totally willing to create a new meetup every time i need to have a coaching call with my members um, one other thing I did here in home was I created another challenge and you notice here, they actually don't have challenges listed up top here, which I actually would like, um, I think this plus button is allowing you to do that here. So you can create a, an announcement. You can create a new meetup, another circle. So a discussion topic, or you can create a challenge. So you can do that here in your dashboard, but I would also love a challenges tab so people can immediately see what challenges are available. Um, and when they click on the home button, I actually want some of these circles to show up instead of these challenges here. That's just a small thing. But yeah, I've, I've set up an additional challenge. So my monthly scoring challenge is for my members to download a certain picture or download a video and then write music to it and then submit that as their monthly submission, right? And if we take a look at this, you can see that it literally is just the one challenge. Um, I initially went through and did it as a recurring challenge, a recurring monthly challenge that happens every 30 days uh, or once a month, basically. And the only problem was, though, that the challenge did not start on the first day of each month. 
and it only started on the 30th day after the first day, you know? So sometimes it started on the second of the month, sometimes it started on the 29th. It, it wasn't always lining up to the first of the month. So that's another piece of feedback I gave to the Viably team. Hopefully they kind of address that. I would love that option to have it as a monthly recurring challenge starting on the first of each month. That's something I would love as well. Um, but anyway, at for the time being, I'm totally fine with just setting you know a new challenge up um, for every month as I need to, like I have been doing in my uh, regular community. And uh, if we take a look at the other challenge, this is a one-time challenge, which is a introduce yourself challenge. And the cool thing though about these non-recurring challenges is that even after the deadline, um, I believe the deadline for this one, I, I, I stated as starting on January 1st, but then ending at, uh, January 31st. So ending at the end of the month. But even after that deadline, your members can actually still submit to that challenge. So if I have new members coming in, let's say in August or something, much, much later, they can still introduce themselves under this challenge, which is really, really important um, because I want people to be able to take that call to action, right? I want them to introduce themselves. I want members to get to know them. And um, that's what creates that sticky feeling within all, all the members and builds those relationships. So I think that's really important as well. And that's pretty much it. It's, it's super simple, but it's nice to be able to also like DM people directly. So if you want to start a new message, you can start a conversation with someone at the moment of, uh, at the time of recording this, I don't have any members here yet. I'm going to be, um, uh, granting my existing members, my offer for this community. I'm still in talks with Kajabi, Kajabi about how to actually do that without, um, you know, ca causing a disturbance basically, but, uh, well, I'll get back to you on that. And then, yeah, the ability to basically just create anything you want up here is a nice touch as well. Uh, previously, I actually went into my settings here and I created it from here. So I went into challenges and then created a new challenge there. But I believe if you do it in the uh, on the home page, it allows you to do the same thing. So yeah, those are basically what we have so far. And maybe the last thing I'll share here is the announcements. So I made an announcement as well. Welcome to the brand new community platform. And um, I also pinned the announcements. So whenever they log into the community, they can actually see that right away. Now, you might not even have noticed it actually at the very top here. It just shows up as a really thin banner. This is actually something I would love to have as a, you know, a, a bigger thing, like maybe e even as one of these challenges or something, something to maybe catch the retention a little bit more. Maybe I could attach an image or have a video there where I, I can literally welcome them. If I want an announcement, I want it to be super visible, right? And this just looks like a lot of text. So maybe they can reformat the announcement a little bit as well. Another piece of feedback I shared with them too. But overall, um, it's a pretty streamlined workflow and, and it's, it's pretty simple to navigate, I think, once you kind of get used to it. So just to quickly recap, I added more circles um, for the different discussion groups. Again, people can literally just go in and ask questions. They can ask whatever they want, create their own posts. And then if they click on home, they can see the challenges that they can take part in. So introducing themselves or take part in the monthly scoring challenges. And then if they want to see what meetups are happening, if they want to join the monthly coaching call, then they can click meetups and join that as well. And they can also RSVP to say, yes, I'm going or I'm not going. And then they can also uh, share this link with a friend if they want to invite someone there as well within the community, I guess. So that's it. Uh, hopefully this uh, helped a little bit. And uh, the last piece of feedback I guess I gave to the, the Vibly team was to have the ability to brand this community a little bit more. Um, I'm actually a big fan of these colors already. I use a bunch of these bright blues and whites at this kind of minimalistic look for my existing community already, but just having the option to maybe add your own logo or uh, you know, tweak the font a little bit somewhere or change up the colors here and there, that might be a, a nice touch to have as well because not everyone's gonna want this color scheme, right? So that's something that I've also addressed to them too, but I'll keep you updated on all of this as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And again, if you are interested in starting your membership, your community on Kajabi, I'd highly recommend it because this new community product, I think is gonna be so cool. Um, I've asked my existing members actually, like what are you most excited about for this new community product? And a lot of them were saying, just the overall streamlined workflow looks really fun. Plus negating the need for Zoom allows us to not have to worry about that external platform anymore. We can have everything just hosted within this community product and the live calls are literally recorded and then uploaded into this community product. So you don't even need to upload the calls to your membership area or anything like that. It does it automatically for you. So 
lots of cool things coming in the pipeline. If you want to join the Kajabi journey with me, I would love to have you and give you an extended 30 day free trial. Uh, Kajabi typically gives, gives you a 14 day free trial on their website. But if you use my link in the description box below, it is an affiliate link, but it will give you um, double the free trial. So 30 days and then part of your payment will come back to support me once you become a paying member after your free trial. Uh, of course, it's greatly appreciated. There's no obligation there, but just so you know, you can get that extended trial as well. I also wanna give you two bonus mini courses though for free as a gift for using my link as well. The first one is called Kajabi in 30 days. So this one walks through exactly how I would be going through Kajabi from start to finish if I were a new user and how I would set up my business, all my email templates, all my funnels and everything like that, step-by-step step to show you how I would go through start to finish and you'll get that immediately after you sign up for your free trial. And the second one you'll receive after you become a paying member, um, this one is called Content Marketing for Creatives. This is literally the business model I'm using to run my business and create content in the world, free content, but then monetize on the back end. I love this model. I've been doing it for years and I wanna share that with you as well. You can send me your receipt once you become a paying member and I'll grant you access to that course right away. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video and take care. Bye-bye.